Hi, and welcome back to Rock Music 9 for 3's channel. As you may have noticed, this is a different playlist called Rock and Reads. In this playlist, I will be reading different poems and short stories, and in the comments below, you guys can discuss what you think the story means. Today, I'll be reading The Hollow Men by T.S. Eliot. So, here we go. We are the hollow men. We are the stuffed men. Leaning together, headpiece filled with straw. Alas, our dried voices, when we whisper together, are quiet and meaningless. As wind in dry grass, or rats feet over broken glass, in our dry cellar. Shape without form, shade without color, paralyzed force, gesture without motion. Those who have crossed, with direct eyes to deaths of the kingdom, remember us, if at all, not as lost, violet souls, but only as the hollow men, the stuffed men. Eyes I dare not meet in dreams, in death's dream kingdom, these do not appear. There the eyes are, sunlight on a broken column. There is a tree swinging, and voices are, and the wind singing, more distant and more solemn than a fading star. Let me be no nearer, in death's dream kingdom, let me also wear such deliberate disguises. Rat's coat, crow skin, cross staves, in the fields, behaving as the wind behaves, no nearer. Not that final meeting in the twilight kingdom. This is the dead land, this is cactus land. Here the stone images are raised, here they receive the supplication of a dead man's hand, under the twinkle of a fading star. It is like this, in death's other kingdom, waking alone at the hour when we are trembling with tenderness, lips that would kiss form prayers to broken stone. The eyes are not here, there are no eyes here, in this valley of dying stars, in this hollow valley, this broken jaw of our lost kingdoms. In this last of meeting places, we grope together in a void speech, gathered on the beach of the Tuid River, Sightless unless the eyes reappear as the perpetual star, multifoliate rose of death's twilight kingdom, the hope only of empty men. Here we go round the prickly pear, prickly pear, prickly pear. Here we go round the prickly pear at five o'clock in the morning. Between the idea and the reality, between the motion and the act, falls the shadow, for thine is the kingdom. Between the conception and the creation, between the motion and the response, falls the shadow. Life is very long. Between the desire and the spasm, between the potency and the existence, between the essence and the descent, falls the shadow. For thine is the kingdom. For thine is, life is, for thine is the. This is the way the world ends. This is the way the world ends. This is the way the world ends, not with a bang, but a whimper. And that was The Hollow Men by T.S. Eliot. So, it's a very long poem, and I think it has a lot of meaning to it. It's something that really needs to be looked at line by line. This author is very famous. Uh, he has a lot of other poems. I may read them later on. But please, in the comment section, please tell us what you think the poem means, what Eliot meant by all the things he said, and leave suggestions for other poems I should cover. And if you like this, please leave a like, and if you want me to, I could actually try to read a whole book. I could record it in sections, post it, and you guys can tell me what you think. Uh, thank you for watching, and check out my other videos, which include origami. Thank you, and have an awesome day.